I want to show you a miracle experiment. What you're about to experience is a collaborative exercise in group consciousness that's way more effective than any typical law of attraction exercise. It explores some of the new edges of metaphysics, quantum physics, and new evolving human consciousness. The work is, is all about creating better lives and a better world. And if it resonates with you, I, I hope you'll join me for more of it in a weekly series of free live online events. Here's a little taste of what we'll be doing. This experiment is an invitation to suspend disbelief, let your mind be boggled, and have an experience of reality beyond what you think you know for certain. Miracles are more readily found in the slightly unsettling territory of paradox than on familiar ground. So, if you're game, let the experiment begin right now by imagining that the earth is shifting just a bit underfoot and that nothing you see is what it appears to be. Simply by listening to this, you are entering into a miracle-making experiment. Numerous streams of research are showing that we can't change our minds without affecting the world around us. And as easily as listening to these words, your mind and your world are changing. If it's your choice, you will become a miracle maker. And if you're feeling excited, it's already begun. Proceed a little further now into the experiment by imagining that you're not alone as you listen. Change your mind about the normally solitary experience of listening so that you are now simply through your intention to do so, linking with every other mind who is hearing these words. Increasingly, science is showing us that all consciousness is connected to quote one of the pioneers of modern physics, Erwin Schrodinger on the nature of consciousness, the overall number of minds is just one. To wade a little more deeply into the fuzzy edges of reality, let go of what you think you know about time. Einstein proved in his theory of relativity that time and space aren't a fixed neutral container for matter and can be altered by what they contain. Time is a more fluid thing than we realize. As Helmut Schmidt, one of the early researchers of mind over matter, discovered in his extensive work with random event generators, he not only found statistically significant evidence suggesting that consciousness alone can indeed affect matter, but also that consciousness can affect matter in the past. Other researchers have found the same. So without quite understanding how, imagine that your mind is transcending the fluid boundaries of time and space to connect with every mind that has in the past and will in the future hear these words. This is happening automatically, simply because you're thinking it. You don't even need to believe it. Just imagine what it would feel like if you did. Picture this joined consciousness as clear, beautiful, and only positive. As we join minds in this way, we leave behind the clutter of small, weak thoughts that so often cloud our attention and we rise into a higher mind that is wise and wonderful. In this higher mind we amplify each other's power for good and automatically repel harm. You may already feel a difference. Your senses may be a little sharper. You might feel warmth or tingling or goose flesh. Perhaps you're a little more awake you may notice that your body is relaxing and you're breathing more deeply. 
you may feel nothing at all, the real magic happening outside of your conscious awareness. It doesn't matter what you perceive. Just imagine what it would be like if you felt certain, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that miracles are normal and starting to unfold in your life. And now here comes the important part. For a moment, hold the deepest, most heartfelt intention that everyone experiencing these words, past, present, and future, receives something wonderful. And imagine that just by listening with intent, you will too. Hold this thought lightly and with wonder like you would a butterfly that just lit in your hand. Hold it gently, no need to strain, and let it go. Just as anonymous prayer has been shown to have a definite healing effect, even when the recipients are unaware that prayer is being offered on their behalf, just this easily, a powerful prayer, has now been set in motion on your behalf. And after you have done this, if you notice a waft of rose scent that has no discernible source, or you see butterflies or feathers or some cherished symbol, wherever you go, just say thank you. As you've opened yourself to God, God is showing itself to you. And now you've become more than a passive listener. You've become part of this experiment, reshaping matter and calling forth miracles for yourself and countless others whom you will never know. So this experiment is one of many from my book, Making Miracles, Create New Realities for Your Life and Our World. And in my weekly series, we'll explore more of the book. These sessions are live, and they're only about 20 minutes long. You can attend on your computer or by phone, and there'll be an opportunity for you to ask questions and comment. Come for one or come every week. And, you know, you just might find that this becomes the most important and effective spiritual practice you do. To find out more about it and to register, just go to my website, lynnwoodland.com. And I look forward to seeing you. Until then, namaste.